Uh, we are facing an outbreak of monkeypox predominantly in Central Europe and UK and other places. Now it has even reached Dubai, so it won't be long before we start seeing cases of monkeypox. So this is just a general awareness as to what this particular disease is and what needs to be expected from that. So this is going to be the outline of my talk. I'll be beginning with a small introduction. I'll speak a bit about what the virus is, which causes this disease, how is it transmitted, what are the clinical features, management, a bit about the vaccine available for post-exposure uh, prophylaxis, and most importantly, what you need to do and what you need to be aware of. On introduction, uh, this particular disease is known as monkeypox because it was first identified in monkeys, which were basically kept for research in 1958. The first human case was actually reported in 1970. So just because it was found in monkeys, it's known as monkeypox, but this particular disease can infect monkeys, humans, rodents alike. Predominantly seen in Central and Western Africa. And whenever you have outbreaks in other parts of the world, it's predominantly a travel related illness. You will almost invariably have a history of the patient having visited some areas of Nigeria or Central Africa. Now, just a few interesting facts uh, about monkeypox. So I'll just be talking to you about the 2003 outbreak. Uh, when this outbreak happened, I think there were around 70 or 80 cases that were reported in various states of the United, uh, uh, in various states of US. And at that time, when CDC was investigating this problem, they found that all these cases had one thing in common, that is pet prairie dogs. So the image on the right, these are actually pet prairie dogs. And uh, when they further investigated it, they found that all these animals were actually kept in close contact with rodents, which had been imported from Central Africa for various reasons. Eventually, uh, uh, import of these kind of animals was banned by the CDC and that particular outbreak eventually subsided. Thereafter, there have been sporadic outbreaks. There was a case reported in Dallas, UK in 2021. And now in 2022, it has taken, I mean, this particular thing has become a bit more big, quite big rather. Uh, there have been several cases which have been reported from, as I said before, Europe, uh, US, Australia. Uh, it's now come to Dubai and that's a bit uh, problematic because if it's come to the way, it, I anticipate that it won't take much time to come to India either. Let's talk a bit about the present outbreak. So this is from the WHO fact sheet, uh, which was updated on 21st of May. Even up till 21st of May, you can see that you already have outbreaks in Canada, United States, almost the whole of Europe, uh, Central America, uh, almost the whole of Europe, Australia. What you don't see here is Dubai, which has recently come in and there have been, I think, three cases reported until yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. So what is this virus really? So monkeypox virus, the virus which causes this disease is very similar to the virus which used to cause smallpox. Now, ever since smallpox got eradicated in 1980, uh, the smallpox vaccination was also stopped that time. Uh, you, the smallpox vaccination actually confers some resistance against monkeypox as well. In the sense, if you have taken a smallpox vaccine, uh, it's less likely that you'll get monkeypox. So it's uh, uh, patients who have taken the smallpox vaccine, generally those born before 1980, they're relatively protected against monkeypox. A bit about the transmission, something that you guys need to know. So major transmission is generally animal to human. So if there is any rodent which has been infested with monkeypox, if there has been any prairie dog, et cetera, been infected with monkeypox, uh, the major mode of transmission is by getting those animals, if those animals scratch you, if those animals bite you. So these are the main modes of transmission. Now, lately, because of the present outbreaks, we also know that human to human transmission has become a bit more rampant. Uh, and initially, the human to human transmission was hardly there, but now it seems to be a bit more rampant. And the general perception is more because of direct contact, along with some large droplet uh, transmission as well. Basically, if you are standing in front of an infected person for over three years without any uh, PPE or something like that, that is when you are likely to get it. Uh, there have been certain concerns raised that in this particular in this particular outbreak, there have been a lot of cases which have been reported amongst uh, you know men having sex with men. 
And when they actually investigated it, they found that it was possibly related to uh, direct physical contact with the lesions uh, during, the inter during that particular uh, encounter rather than actual sexual transmission. However, studies are still on way to really understand the pathogenesis of this. What are the important clinical features that you need to be aware of? Uh, so you have seen all, you have seen all this in the news. Uh, generally, the patient starts manifesting around six to thirteen days after exposure from an infected rodent or an infected human. He will start with some fever, weakness, lethargy. Thereafter, there will be some rash which will be observed predominantly on the face. From there, it passes on centrifugally all over. Involvement of palms and soles. And this rash usually coalesces to form blisters, like the ones which I have shown on the uh, on the slide. Uh, importantly, these lesions are very similar to those of chickenpox, even smallpox, rather syphilis, etc., other diseases as well. However, the presence of lymph nodes—that uh, is, there is there might be some swellings over the neck, over the trine—that is quite classical of this particular disease and might clinically help in differentiating it from other diseases. So this is the, these are the various stages through which the monkeypox goes through. There will be an early recycle, followed by a pustule. You understand? So these are the various lesions in which, various lesions and various stages of development that you might just see. Obvious question for all of us is, is it really dangerous? So understand that WHO and CDC have been investigating this outbreak and whatever analysis they have done, it seems as if uh, all these viruses belong to the West African clade. And fortunately for us, it does not carry a very high mortality. It's just 2 6 So there is no need to panic. You really, in case this particular disease does strike India, and in case you do get it, there is no need to panic. There's hardly any mortality with this. What are the general principles of management? It is predominantly a self-resolving illness. So this entire episode will go away within two to four weeks. The management is predominantly conservative. If you have fever, you take paracetamol. If you are dehydrated, you take plenty of fluids. If you have a lot of itching, you take anti-aging medications, some calamine lotion, et cetera. But barely any case really requires hospitalization. And even then, they are predominantly managed conservatively with the measures that I've just said. Uh, two antivirals have been licensed for the treatment in case the patient has a severe disease. Uh, in which particular group who can we expect that? Possibly is, are those who are immunosuppressed. That basically means that in patients who have a low immunity, so those who have undergone an uh, organ transplant, those who have, who have been taking steroids for a long time, etc. So in those particular cases, you might get an uh, invasive disease or a severe disease in those particular cases, we still have an option of two antivirals in those cases. Now, as I said earlier, the smallpox vaccine helps in protecting against monkeypox. So ever since this outbreak has come in, so talks have been on about whether if a particular person has been exposed or has been in close contact with the patient of monkeypox, is there any vaccine which might be useful, especially in cases of healthcare workers? And they found that this particular vaccine, that is Janios, uh, this particular vaccine, unfortunately, still not available in India. It's available in the States right now. It has been recommended for post-exposure prophylaxis. In case this particular disease uh, escalates or uh, anything of that sort, uh, I anticipate that we will be getting this vaccine in our, in our, particular, uh, in our particular country as well. Presently, though, it's not available. So the obvious next question is what kind of precautions should I take? Uh, these are all the recommendations that I've gathered from CDC and WHO and the recommendations are the same as for COVID. Please wear a mask, please do social distancing. We understand that this particular disease is gently transmitted by direct physical contact and in close proximity, if you're in close proximity with the person for a very long time without your mask. So simple measures like appropriate masking and social distancing will really go along. Very, very importantly, in case there is any patient whom you suspect might have this particular disease, the authorities need to be alerted, all right? And what kind of authorities are these? Generally, it's Kasturba Hospital, which has actually opened up a separate ward for anticipated monkeypox. I'll be talking to you a bit about that in some time. So the th next thing is, what do I do if I get monkeypox? First things first, do not panic. As I said, that the mortality rates are very low. 
and 90 to 95% of the patients will become better by themselves without any treatment. First thing is you isolate your patient, isolate yourself from your family members, make sure that there is social distancing ongoing, ask them to wear masks, etc. Immediately get in touch with your infectious diseases doctor or your general physician, whomsoever you're comfortable with. As I said, that there is a report in Kasurpa Hospital which has specially been made for impending cases or anticipated cases. So once you alert your doctor, Kasurpa Hospital can be alerted and they can take it further from there. So these are the references that I have used. And thank you. Thank you so much.